Alright, we are now in the water temple with many Zelda fans. Considered to be one of the hardest and most annoying temples in all the Legend of Zelda series. First thing we're going to do is take off our iron boots, and as you may notice right from the get-go, this is a lot easier than it was in the Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64. First off, you don't have to pause the game every time you want to put on the boots or take them off. They are now an equipable item, just like the hookshot, bombs, and arrows. Also, another new feature you will notice is that right here, there is a new kind of texture on the wall. And this texture extends all the way down the hallway. And what this means is that this is one of the paths to one of the three icons throughout the dungeon that will allow you to change the water level. And Nintendo wanted to make it easier for you to remember which way to go when you needed to do that. And thankfully, this new system makes it a lot easier. But when you go down this way, you come across Princess Rudo. And she says, oh you, if I'm right, Link. You're Link, aren't you? It's me, your fiancé, Rudo, Princess of Azores. I never forgot the vows we made to each other seven years ago. You're a terrible man who kept me waiting for these seven long years, but now it's not the time to talk about love. I'm sure you've already seen it. Zora's domain, totally frozen. A young man named Sheik, Sheik has saved me from under the ice, but my father and the other Zoras have not yet. I want you to save them all. I want you to save Zora's domain. You, you have to help me. This is a request from me, the woman who is going to be your wife. Link, you have to help me destroy the evil monster in the temple, okay? Inside of the water temple, there are three places where we can change the water level. I'll lead the way. Follow me quickly. And she swims up above, um, indicating that you need to take off your iron boots so you are not um, stuck on the ground. You will float your way up. Just follow this icon that is on the wall as well, this green wavy pattern. It takes you right where you need to be. And now up this uh, hole in the ceiling. And climb up. As you see, there, this is the Triforce icon, so we're going to play Zelda's Lullaby. Playing um, Zelda's Lullaby next to one of, or any of these three um, Triforce icons throughout the dungeon will again adjust the water level accordingly to the picture that is shown next to it. This one drops it down to the very lowest level. So we're just going to go ahead and drop right back down this way. Um, we just got some arrows, so we're going to use those arrows to aim through this fire and light this other torch. And finally we'll do it to this um, last torch in the room. Let's line it up a little bit. Hard enough to get an angle. Here we go. Oh, and then of course the other one goes out because it took me too long. That's special. Oh, this is going to be fun. And by fun, I mean not at all. Alright, lighting all three of them. We'll open the door that's right in front of us. And here there are three um, kind of clams. Just stab them when they open their mouth. And that will cause the chest to appear at our feet. Inside that chest is a small key, so we are off to a good start already. So just proceed back out this way. Door behind us was shut, and we can just continue down um, back into the central room where the tower lies. Now there's a couple different ways we can go. I will just work our way around and show you guys what all is in here. This is where we came from, so we're going to ignore that for now. So let's jump up into this room and see what's going on in there. Uh, there is a block, so you can push it. Nothing much is really going to happen. But I'll just show it to you anyway, so you can see your way around this dungeon. This may be your first time playing. If so, then you are in for a treat. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, get the iron boots back out. So with the iron boots, so let's take them right off. Again, no pausing required. This time much easier and float our way to the top here.
like what you see is a switch when we smash this switch a timer starts and the water level the bomb room raises so we need to jump into it and then quickly jump to the other side and we can go into the door that way takes us into this room here uh, so we'll go ahead and drop down and put on the iron boots to sink to the very bottom to see what's going on. Get our uh, hook shot out. Inside that dragon's mouth is a switch so we will hit that and um, get our way over there. and climb up and inside here will be another chest with your second small key so we have two of those now get as many as we can before we get heading out and drop down um, you cannot use your sword underwater so you have to use your hook shot if it wants to use the hook shot just sat there instead of actually doing it you just sat there Alright, so now that those guys are taken care of, we can go up here again. We're going to smack this switch, drop down, and go through the gate. Use the boots. Come on. Alright, now that we have everything we need from this room, we will just uh, go around. The current takes you around, so... You just have to wait for it to take you back uh, over here and we can jump back up. Alright, um, there is a hook shot icon here so we're just going to go ahead. And that guy will fall down. We're just going to go ahead and use that to get back over and then climb right up. Put on the iron boots, sink back down, take them off, swim around. <laughs> See, we had to put the boots back on and hook shot our way up. Can't ever make things easy for you. They gotta be annoying. And now, with that result, we are going to uh, go right here. Uh, open this middle door. As you can see, there's another um, icon, kind of like a pattern on the wall, telling us that this is a path to another um, area to lower and raise uh, water level. So we will just push our way up. That'll take us to this. So let's go ahead and uh, play that song. And this is the second highest water level. It will cause it to raise a little bit, pushing that block up to the top, which reveals a bottom area, which we'll go ahead and go down now. So just put on your iron boots to sink. Watch where you land. And uh, pressing this switch will cause a bunch of enemies to fall down from the grate above it. So just need to take them out. These guys are pretty simple when they uh, turn into rocks to stab them. These guys, when they open their mouth, shoot at them. Now wait for them to turn around, open your mouth, there you go. Doing so will cause that other graded um, entrance on the other side of the room to open up, so take off your iron boots and swim up it. And, and there is another key. Alright, so doing good. So with that, we're going to exit where we just came from and swim back up.
right now we're back where we um, change the wire level. Just jump across. There's a doorway that we can go in through. So go ahead and do so. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, just drop down. Um, we're going to return to the spot where we met Princess Rudo earlier and where the other icon is. We're going to go this way because there's an area that we can now get to that was previously blocked because the wire level is not in its appropriate height. And that is right here. You see this wall is weak and can be blown up so we're going to go ahead and do that. Doing so will open up that wall and inside of it is another key so we have three of these small keys saved up now and with that we're just going to go ahead and um, drop back down and um, go back to the middle chamber. Just swim your way back up to the top of the water and uh, climb up. You know, shot your way over here. Hook shot up. Turn around. Hook shot back up. And there is a switch over here. So what we're going to do is stand by the chest. and aim at the switch with the hook shot. That way, this really quick timer can be um, beaten and we can open that chest to see what's inside. And that's the dungeon compass, so we're done in this room, so just proceed back down. Watch your step from the, from the spike. And return to this middle chamber. Alright, now this is telling us that's another way to go. I'm going to look over here real quick. And, alright, cool. We're going to go this way. A locked door. We have three keys, so now we have two remaining. This takes us up to the last um, Triforce icon to change the water level. So I'm going to stand here. And use the hook shot on this um, switch. That will raise the water level. There's normally tech types that fall down on you. If you beat them done, then you can be quick enough and they won't fall on you and damage you. So just go through that door. And we can go ahead and change that water level all the way up. Now we're just going to go ahead and jump, target, flight, very nice move, helps us get over without landing in the water. Alright, this is the area that we'll be going later, the boss is kind of up that direction, but we can't get to that right now. So let's go ahead and go into this room, it's another locked door, so now we have only one key left after this. Alright, we're going to take out the uh, keys. There's a uh, scotula over there. I do not think this will reach it yet, so we're going to ignore that. But as you can see, there is a waterfall-like structure going on, and what we have to do is drop down and be quick with the hook shot. Oh, come on. All right, target on. Now you gotta aim up, target, climb. Aim up, target, climb, and just work your way up the waterfall. That way, uh, you gotta be quicker than it is to, um, than the waterfall is, which is a fairly slow moving one. 
Each way up. Now this is the last uh, key that we have, so we are now out of keys and we are going through this door. I think we may need a key for this room, but the goal of this um, part is to hit this switch, which will cause this to raise up and go ahead and target over. And now we need to hit the switch again to lower everything one floor. That way we can get across to this um, icon over here, climb over this statue. Now hit it once more. We'll raise everything up again. You see the pattern that's going on here. Target over. Hit it again. Climb on top, and lastly one more time to raise us up to the platform above us. Alright, now we got this like like here, it's going to be in our way. So if you target him, it'll kind of stun him so he doesn't take your stuff. I'm going to see if I can capture that fairy. Alright, now we're in the uh, room with the uh, mini boss of this dungeon. Um, as I'm sure you guys all know, this is Darkling. So we enter through this room and it appears to be nothing in here, but when we get to the other side, the door is locked. So when we turn around and go towards the tree again, we find ourselves face to face with this young fellow, Darkling. Now, um, in between videos, I went and got myself a shield, since I've been saying I've been needing one for a while. Uh, this guy kind of copies your moves. Um, he likes to jump on your sword. It's a little bit hard to hit, because he mimics what you do. But um, if you have dense fire, that's a good way to do damage to him. If you um, use dense fire, you'll be unable to avoid the attack and will take damage. Uh, lots of people also find that um, the hammer is a good tool to use. That's um, up to your discretion. It's all right. I don't find it really any different than trying to use the uh, sword. So I'm just going to throw another dense fire out at him. Get as much damage as I can done to him before having to actually try and do damage to him. I also find that if you hit him right after... Um, um, he's taking damage and he bounces back. If you swing at him, he takes damage a little bit easier. And that one miss. Also, if you don't target him, he tends to take more damage, so do not target him. Defeating him will drop a bunch of red rupees. And uh, the room will fade. Everything was just an illusion. So just continue on northern through this door through this open door and then here we get ourselves the um, item of the dungeon which is an enhanced version of the claw shot that we already have. And this is a long shot. Extends twice as far so um, use the song of time on this block that is right in front of us. YLR, YLR, if you don't remember. That will cause the uh, block to disappear. And with that, this concludes this segment of the uh, Water Temple. The next segment will take us through uh, getting the boss key.